What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the Lightning to USB and Lightning to SD camera adapters for the new iPad mini and the iPad 4th generation. Now if you're familiar with the 30 pin camera connection kit from the last generation iPads, the concept here is the same, just modified for the Lightning connectors. The primary function of these adapters is to allow users to transfer photos and videos from their cameras to their iPad. But that's not the only thing they can do, and I'll cover more of that in this video. Now this time, however, these are sold separately for $29 each as opposed to having both adapters in the same kit for $29 as a pair. So the adapters this time integrate a short cable for more uh, connection flexibility. So this is especially good for instances where you have cases on your iPad and don't want to have to remove them every time you use the connector. Now the SD adapter is pretty straightforward. Just pluck the SD card from your camera, insert it into the adapter, and the photo app will automatically launch on the iPad. The app will generate the thumbnails of the images and video files on that card. Now we can't open full size versions of these images until we import them to the iPad. Now to do that, we can select each file one by one or we can select import all and it will import all the files. So just tap import and everything will start importing and you get a little progress indicator. And once they're imported, you'll see a little check sign indicating a successful import. Now once that's done, you can also have the option to delete them or you can leave them as is. The files will now appear under your Photos tab and you can now view them in full screen on your iPad. You can even play back videos complete with scrubbing capability so you can take a look at your videos directly on the iPad. Now for cameras with internal storage, you have the USB adapter, which works the same way. Now this is great in particular for cameras like my camcorder here, which shoots both video and stills. So all I have to do is make sure that the camcorder is on and connect it to my iPad. The iPad will automatically find all the video or photos on the camera and give me the option to transfer them. You can also import photos and videos from iOS devices, such as an iPhone, iPod Touch, or another iPad. Now, the USB adapter has a few other bonus functions, which are not officially supported by Apple, mostly because the power output on the iPad is too low to support most USB devices. So, for example, if I connect a USB thumb drive, the iPad will tell me that the device requires too much power. However, we can get around this thanks to a powered USB hub, which will power connected USB devices and allow the iPad to use them. So with a hub, I can connect the iPad directly to the hub and the thumb drive to the port on the hub. The iPad can now read the files without supplying the power to the USB drive, and I can import and delete them just like I would with any other connected USB device. Now you can also connect audio devices like a USB microphone or headset using this method. So with my USB mic connected, it automatically overrides the internal mic on the iPad, and you can now use the much higher quality mic for audio recording. The iPad also supports standard USB keyboards. Now, while the Apple keyboard I have here needs a powered hub to work, I've heard others can do this without powering their keyboards. So you can connect them directly to the iPad without trouble. Now, as you can see, connecting the keyboard hides the virtual keyboard and you can type away. But of course, you can achieve the same result if you connect a Bluetooth keyboard, which the iPad supports. Now, if you have the existing 30 pin camera connection kit, and one of the lightning to 30 pin adapters, you can combine these together and they'll work exactly the same with all the same features. Now just to address some popular questions with the camera connection kit, the camera connection kit only works with photos and video. You can't import other document types. And the only app that launches is the photo app. So that's all you can use in order to import those video and photo files. It's also worth pointing out that the camera connection kit does not work with iPhone or iPod Touch. So although they have lightning connectors, these devices or these adapters are not supported on them in any way. All right, guys, so that's going to do for me in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.